Welcome to another episode of True Crime Documentary with your trusted host, Kishore. Today we delve into a chilling tale that unfolds in the picturesque town of Duncan, Oklahoma, a community shaken to its core by an unimaginable crime. This tranquil town, known for its affluence and serenity, is about to bear witness to a horrifying event that will forever mar its pristine image. Get ready, dear viewers, as we peel back the layers of this tragic narrative, revealing the dark secrets that led to an unthinkable crime. This is the shocking story of Alan Ruby, where privilege spiraled out of control into a horrifying nightmare. Stay tuned as we uncover the grim details of this heart-wrenching tragedy. In the serene, affluent town of Duncan, Oklahoma, a horrific crime rattled the community. Not a town familiar with scandal or violence, it was about to experience the unimaginable. As dawn broke, sunlight spilled over perfectly maintained lawns and sprawling homes. Among them, the Hruby residence, a beacon of prosperity and success. This resonated with laughter and brimmed with love. Yet on this particular day, it transformed into a chilling crime scene. Enter Alan Hruby, a seemingly ordinary college student of wealth. Known for their generosity, business prowess, and their loving son Alan, the Hrubies appeared as the embodiment of affluence. Alan, often seen as charming boy next door, hid an unimaginable darkness behind his smile. The crime unfolded on an ordinary day. The town, alive and vibrant, remained oblivious to the impending horror. The gruesome of the deceased Hruby family members John, Tinker, and Catherine left an indelible scar on Duncan. News of their death sent shockwaves through the town. The Hrubies, pillars of the community, were victims of a crime too monstrous to comprehend. Who could commit this atrocity? Who could extinguish a family's life so ruthlessly? The answer would stun Duncan. A town in shock, a family brutally massacred, and the perpetrator one of their own. This is the harrowing tale of Alan Hruby, where privilege spiraled into a horrifying nightmare. As the narrative unfolds, it exposes the dark secrets that precipitated this heinous crime. Alan Hruby's path to destruction began long before the Day of Reckoning. Born into a privileged family, the allure of luxury wasn't foreign to him. His parents, prosperous entrepreneurs, furnished a lifestyle many could only fantasize about. Private schooling, luxury automobiles, and high-end escapes were staples in his world. Yet, beneath these glamorous offerings, a sense of entitlement emerged. The luxuries ceased to be privileges. They became rights. An insatiable hunger for opulence consumed him. The more he possessed, the more he, he developed a fixation with designer apparel, extravagant celebrations, and lavish gadgets. A relentless chase for material wealth engulfed him, a chase that would catalyze his downfall. While his yearning for luxury grew, his readiness to earn it did not. Debt piled up as he lived beyond his financial capacity. Credit cards reached their limit, loans became defaulted, savings depleted. His parents, troubled by his extravagant expenditure, started reining in limiting the flow of family wealth to him. Resistance, however, only made him more desperate, struggling to preserve the illusion of his extravagant lifestyle. He clung to the fabricated image of affluence and success. He sold his borrowed cash and even resorted to thievery. His world, built like a house of cards, teetered on the verge of ruin. Despite the impending disaster, his materialistic obsession clouded his judgment, like a moth attracted to a flame, oblivious of danger until consumed him. Alan's desperation started steering him toward a treacherous course. On a frigid October morning, Alan Ruby took a drastic step. An aura of typical autumn calm enveloped the Ruby household, yet beneath it a tempest was gathering. The day started routinely, but they were oblivious to Alan's ominous scheme, a scheme destined to leave a permanent mark on humanity. Alan arose earlier than usual that day, his mind imbued with a terrifying determination as cold and relentless as the frost outside. He was on the verge of perpetrating a crime that would shatter the tranquility of the community. He intended to murder his family, in cold blood. The first victim was his mother, blindsided and dispatched with ruthless precision. His father and sister were next, casualties of horrific act. The once joyous and loving household now stood as a silent monument to unspeakable terror. More disturbing still was Alan's subsequent composure. No panic, no flight. He went about his day as though nothing had occurred. He attended classes, socialized with friends, even updated his social media. His image of normalcy was a chilling juxtaposition to the brutal crime committed. Everything was calculated, his manner ice cold. Every detail meticulously planned, leaving nothing to chance, he was confident of evading capture. 
However, as the hours passed, the enormity of his actions started to settle in. Feelings of guilt began to surface. But it was too late. There was no turning back. Alan Ruby had wiped out his entire family in a chilling act of brutality. His crime, however, couldn't remain concealed. As the day ended, it marked the beginning of a captivating national saga of crime and punishment. Investigators started piecing together a grisly puzzle, and Alan's facade began to fall apart. Local law enforcement, skeptical of Alan's placid demeanor following the discovery of his family's remains, delved into his actions before the murders. The findings revealed a chilling web of deceit, betrayal, with Alan at the core. An extravagant lifestyle sustained by funds drained from his family's dwindling wealth had left a trail of credit card bills, unpaid debts. Detectives uncovered a downward spiral, Alan's desperation escalating with his family's worsening financial situation. Friends and acquaintances remembered erratic behavior, obsession with maintaining lavish lifestyle, and a complete lack of empathy. As evidence mounted, Alan's arrest was imminent. Law enforcement located him in a motel, attempting to flee. The once privileged man now faced repercussions of his actions, handcuffed, sending shockwaves throughout the community. The seasoned investigators, hardened by years of dealing with humanity's dark side, were taken aback by Alan's emotionless demeanor. Despite damning evidence, Alan displayed no remorse, no guilt. This indifference served as a chilling reminder of the darkness potentially lurking beneath a facade of wealth and privilege. Alan Ruby, the man who had everything, emerged as a prime suspect in a horrifying murder investigation. His arrest marked the end of a chapter in this shocking story, but the impending legal battle was only beginning. In the aftermath of Alan's arrest, the community grappled with the reality of the monstrous act committed by one of their own. The media swarmed the quiet town, their lenses focused on the Ruby residence, a symbol of shattered illusions. Residents were left questioning how such a heinous act could have occurred amidst them. As Alan's story unfolded in the public eye, he became a symbol of unchecked privilege gone awry, a chilling reminder of the potential darkness hidden beneath a facade of wealth. The once revered Ruby name was now synonymous with a horrifying crime, a name that would forever be etched in the annals of the town's history. As the town reeled, Preparations began for the impending trial, promising to reveal the full extent of Alan's brutal act. The courtroom laid bare Alan's true essence. With the trial underway, spectators and jurors watched, eyes riveted on the defendant. Alan Ruby, once born into privilege, stood accused of unimaginable crimes. His defense team spun a tale of unchecked greed and entitlement, blaming his privileged upbringing for turning him into a monster who felt owed by the world. They depicted a life lived recklessly, fueled by unsustainable opulence. But skepticism and resentment filled the courtroom. How could privilege breed such brutality? The trial turned into a media spectacle, attracting national attention. When the verdict arrived, it was unanimous, guilty as charged. The judge's gavel echoed, signifying the end of the trial and the commencement of Allen's life in prison. His life of luxury had finally caught up with him and swapped for one within four cold, bare walls. Freedom, a thing of the past. Alan Hruby, now a prison inmate, stands as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of unchecked greed and entitlement, a chilling testament to the destructive power of unappreciated wealth and privilege, a story of a life that seemingly had everything, but in reality, had nothing.